Our lead national correspondent, David Begno, found a story about someone whose last name is Story. And this one all starts with an internet post, two strangers, and a commitment that reminds us there are more good people in the world than not. Here's David. When you see Lynn's story, what you don't see is her Texas-sized heart. This 64-year-old Fort Worth retiree had a lot of free time on her hands until she met April Goodwin. I had no transportation and I didn't know what to do. She found help on the community app next door after revealing to strangers that she had been diagnosed with uterine cancer. Someone spoke up and said, I'll, I'll take you to your appointments. And I kind of ignored it because it's a stranger. What do you do? So she messaged me again and said, I'll take you. I mean it. I'm honest. I, you know, I'm sincere. Morning. Hi. You look so pretty. Over the last year, Lynn has driven April to more than 25 radiation appointments, six chemotherapy treatments, and countless doctor's visits. Rain or shine, Lynn is always on time. One time... Her car broke down, and she goes and flags down somebody in the middle of traffic to get me into my chemo. <laughs> That's Lynn. Well, months after meeting April, Lynn again was on the Nextdoor app when she noticed a post from Kevin Horrigan, who is legally blind. Lynn's like a little angel. She really is. Because um, I can't drive. So I thought, well, I can drive there and take him to work and then go home. See you tomorrow. Hard times drove Kevin out of retirement. Bye. Now Lynn lessens his burdens. Lynn drives me to work or she picks me up from work. It helps tremendously. Five days a week at five in the morning, there's Lynn. Hi, Kevin. It's me. How was your night? I just started thinking of myself this way recently as a bad weather friend. You know, fair weather friends are only there when everything's good for you. But a bad weather friend is there to help you in times of need. Okay. They were strangers a year ago, and now friends. <laughs> Lynn loves people. How are you? Good. Aren't you handsome? <laughs> Thank you. She talks to everybody. <laughs> Your hair is so cute. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Everybody. Well, I like your umbrella, too. The best way for me to feel good is to help other people feel good. Yes. Just to make it easier for yes, them. Yes, I get that. Mm -hmm. That's the joy, isn't it? Yeah. That's the joy. Mm -hmm. What was the first thing that led to what has been the kindness that you've done? What does this go back to? I don't know. It's just always been important to me to be nice to people and to not hurt people's feelings. I didn't want to hurt her feelings by asking about a 45-year-old mistake she made that showed up in a recent background check. You were arrested. I was. When you were in your 20s. I was. For shoplifting. I was. What did you learn from that? I learned to stop it, to be better. I went into therapy and kind of got a feel for why I felt the need to, for the high for shoplifting. And that helped. And then many years later, I was finally diagnosed as bipolar. And that helped because I got on medication to make me even instead of the highs and the lows. And so that's made a big difference. I'm just really happy. I remember you saying to me, the shoplifting may have been formative in shaping the woman that I was then going to grow up to be. Yes. I was ashamed of having behaved in such a manner that I needed to be arrested. And my mother was so kind to me. Mm. And she bailed me out of jail and she got me a lawyer and made it very clear that that was the only time this was going to happen. And so... I determined to be better. Being honest about a mistake you made mm -hmm. 45 years ago mm -hmm. makes you so relatable to so many of us. Because mm -hmm. everybody makes mistakes. Of course. But not everybody goes out of their way to be as helpful as you. I wish they would. Everything would be so much better. Well, it's hard to do better than this. Lynn was 31 years old when she donated her healthy bone marrow to a critically ill patient 
she didn't even know. So it's no surprise when she recently was asked to foster a disabled three-legged dog named Sully, she said, sign me up. You like head rubs, don't you? What mm -hmm. a story. She's my guardian angel because I didn't have any family to help me fight, but I had a new family to help me fight. Thank you for allowing me to get treatment for my cancer so I could be here today. You know, you're welcome. Thank you. Got a little chilly. It did get a little chilly. I feel okay. that I'm more humble now having known them and being able to help them. Um, Why do you think that is? I don't know. But I get blushy and kind of embarrassed to talk about it and antsy. Do you think it's that it just softens your heart? Mm. And it, well, and it just feels like, how could I not do it? So I don't, in a way, I don't expect or understand the praise that I may get for it because it just seems so natural to do it. And seems so right. Yes. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for showing us what we all know is right, but what we aren't always willing to do. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Love that, Lynn. One question you may have is, does Lynn get paid for doing this? She insisted she did not want money, but April and Kevin insisted they'd have to at least take their money so she could pay for her gas. Yeah, that's, you know, it's so funny, David. I didn't even think about money, about how she's getting paid. I love the phrase, bad weather friend, and they keep using the word angel to describe Lynn. I think that's such a good way to describe her. People, she's dogs, a, she's amazing. Wonderful lady who has spent her retirement doing nothing but looking for ways to serve others. Yeah. Looking yeah. for it. I'm struck by, I'm looking struck by it, yeah. stopping traffic. Yes. Flagging a total stranger <laughs> down yes. to get that, uh, to get her to chemotherapy. Wow. Thank you, David. Once Thank again, you, David. quite a story. Always. Happy yep, Monday. As always, happy, happy Monday. Monday. David Begno always delivers.